You may have heard by now that over 1,000 Matilda Jane clothing trunk keepers are out of a business. So what the hell happened? What is going to happen down the road? What is their plan? I'm answering all the questions that I can find answers to in this video. If you're new here, my name is Sam. If you're not new here, welcome back. So in this video, I am covering Matilda Jane. Matilda Jane is a clothing company that started in 2005 and they focus primarily what it looks like is on little girls clothing, but they do offer adult women's clothing and accessories as well. So on the multi-level marketing side of their business, they have or had what is called a trunk keeper. Trunk keepers typically have an inventory that they keep on hand and they call their inventory samples. So recently, on December 7th, the trunk keepers received this email from Matilda Jane, letting them know that as of 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that day, they would no longer be a trunk keeper. They're being terminated as a trunk keeper. Now, there was no sign of this. There was no warning. In fact, they launched two new lines two weeks before. So this came as a surprise to many people, including the trunk keepers, and my heart is so sad for them. So I've been heavily researching this for the past week. Today is December 19th. So since the news broke, I've been digging and trying to find what I, as much as I can, and I can't find much in the way of statements from Matilda Jane. I have actually reached out to them three separate times down three different avenues, and I still have not heard back. What is this hair happening? Oh my gosh. So hopefully before I I post this on the 20th, I will have heard back from them and I can maybe give you a statement from Matilda Jane corporate. But as of right now, there's really not much else out there aside from the email they sent out to their trunk keepers. Now, when I go to their website, they are advertising a 50% off holiday sale. It does not say anywhere that Matilda Jane is closing, which makes me wonder if Matilda Jane itself is staying open and they are just cutting ties with the trunk keeper. They were in talks with another company, which we'll get into here in a few minutes. This company was supposed to purchase Matilda Jane. So apparently that fell through and they said that the company has been experiencing financial difficulties and had been negotiating a sale. But despite the company's extensive efforts, the sale has not materialized. In addition, the company's secured lender asserted a default under its loan agreement, and the company is unable to borrow any additional money from the lender or any financing source. As a result, the company is left without the funds necessary to continue operating its business and has no choice but to sell any remaining assets and wind down. So when they say they want to wind down their business and essentially get rid of the trunk keepers, I'm wondering if that is their lifeboat and that is their way to stay afloat, just cutting ties with the trunk keepers and moving on as a normal brick and mortar or even just an online shop type of business model. So I'm curious to see if that is what plays out. I did ask that question in all three of the messages that I sent to Matilda Jane. So hopefully I do get an answer to that or we do get an answer at some point in the future. So something else that I found interesting. So when you go to a trunk keepers, uh, Instagram or Facebook, they'll have their personal site linked there. So whenever I clicked on any personal site links, it brought me back to the main page of Matilda Jane. So the personal site links are completely gone. These trunk keepers also had emails through Matilda Jane. So as of December 7th at 5 PM Eastern, they no longer had access to those emails accounts so they can't go in and get any information or anything. So that's kind of sketchy also. I also checked them out on all of their socials. So I checked Facebook. I checked YouTube. I checked LinkedIn. I checked Instagram everywhere to see if I can find any information about what the hell is going on. So far, there's nothing aside from them heavily promoting this sale that they have going on. Also, what I found interesting is you cannot comment anywhere. The blog comments are turned off. The Instagram comments are turned off. The Facebook comments are turned off. And 
The YouTube comments are turned off. The only place that I found that the comments are not yet turned off, but they might be because I left a comment, uh, was on LinkedIn. But that is the only place where you can leave a comment. So I found that to be very interesting as well. Not super surprising because, again, it is an MLM and they are sketchy and that's just the way that they are made really. So with Matilda Jane Clothing having a sale directly through their website, it's really hurting these trunk keepers who now have to get rid of all of their samples that they have. So it's leaving these trunk keepers or former trunk keepers with one choice of selling off their samples at a 50% or more discount. So that's really hurting them as well. And the customers that are loyal or have been loyal to Matilda Jane for a long time are obviously going directly to matildajaneclothing.com to make their purchases. But I would recommend in this case only to support these trunk keepers who are having to go out of business right before Christmas. And I'm going to drop a link to a going out of business Facebook group that I found where you can support trunk keepers who are going out of business and needing to make ends meet for this time being while they are trying to figure out what their next move is. So that is linked below if you want to check them out and support those women that have been hit with this right before Christmas. Okay, I got to roll up my sleeves now because we're going to get into the good stuff. I came across a now ex trunk keepers TikTok account. She started with Matilda Jane clothing in 2020. And she was needless to say, not happy about this announcement. So I want to show you what she had to say because she has a little bit more of that insider information that I've been digging for. And so here we go. Matilda Jane clothing. What is the true story? Okay, so for those of you that don't know, I was a trunk keeper with Matilda Jane Clothing uh, until this past week when we got the unexpected news that the company was winding down, which pretty much just means that they fired all of the trunk keepers. Um, and to make matters worse, they start a sale today. And we knew that this was going to happen. We knew that they were going to liquidate items on the website and a few of you watching this video are probably like, Matilda Jane on sale? I need to go shop now. And that's fine. Like, I get it. Um, our customers have been really rallying around us. We are trying to support each other and selling our samples that we hold. But here's what I want to show y'all that is really rubbing salt into our wounds. So here's the site. I get on tonight because I see a thread start popping up in a group chat that there are all of these items all of a sudden on the website. These shorties sold out. Not anymore. So when she says sold out, what I believe she's saying is that she was trying to buy them for her site, or maybe she had customers that were trying to buy them and they were sold out. Now all of a sudden they have all of this inventory in stock, ready to go. So many items that I worked my butt off to get to customers. If you're loving this video so far, make sure you hit like and subscribe. No, back to the video. Oh my gosh, look, wow. More size availability. And then you keep looking and you see these prices, which I mean, sure, that's great for a sale price for Matilda Jane, but it's really frustrating when you have customers that you've built a relationship with that you really try hard to get them, you know, certain items and things like that. And then you get on a website after you've been fired and oh my gosh, there's all this inventory. Like where the hell was this when we were trying to sell it? How was this selling out on release night? And now all of a sudden, miraculously, there are multiple available sizes in different things. Like explain that to me. I talked to a teammate earlier who was like, I don't know who to be mad at. Well, I think I'm pretty mad at Donna Colaco. <laughs> Let's just throw her name out there because... Donna Colaco is the CEO of Matilda Jean. I have no words. Like where? Where did all this stuff come from? And I get it. You don't know me from anybody else. I'm not a confrontational person, but when it comes to sticking up for my friends and people that I believe in, 
I can get a little feistier. So I just feel like we've been had. I feel like all the things that we believed in the company were false. And this is in no way a, an attack or dig at her. But the main thing that's false is that you're a business owner. I this this is proving that when you're part of an MLM, you are in no way a business owner. You have no say in anything, really, at all. Like you have no say in anything. You can wake up one morning like these women did and find an email in your inbox saying you have been terminated and you no longer have a business. Could have just done better. It didn't have to get to this point, but it did. Part two of how Matilda Jane has screwed over us trunk keepers. So right before December, there's only two parts. So that was the first part. And now we're on to part two. Release. We got an email saying like, oh, these women's pieces that we told you that we were going to have available and a couple of girls pieces too. Oh, there was an issue with production and we're not going to be receiving those. You won't get those at all. Okay, great. Why are they on the website now? Seems like production was just fine. Seems like you knew very well going into December release what you were gonna be doing to all of us the next day, which is crap. I'm keeping it PG, but this is wrong. Okay. So I agree with her on so many levels. Like it's clear that they knew this was coming before it was coming. And up until two weeks before they announced this, they were launching new things. They were trying to recruit new trunk keepers. So why keep doing those things if you knew that this was coming? Why not give them a bigger runway to figure out what they're going to do and let them know like, hey, in two weeks, we're not going to be here anymore. Why not give them some kind of warning? Like it's just at this point, it's just being a good human. It's not even about it being an MLM anymore. It's just about affecting the livelihood. And quite honestly, these people's holidays, holidays are hard already for a lot of people. You don't know how many of these trunk keepers maybe have been struggling with other things. And now this on top of it, right at the holidays when they're already having a hard time, like, come on. I literally just got an email back from one of the messages that I sent. There's no answer. So this email back from one of the ways that I reached out to them, I asked them, are you closing your doors for good? Or are you just closing the trunk keeper side of the store? And I played along like I was a customer so that I could maybe get an answer. And I just said, I'm really sad to hear if you're closing down altogether. I get this email that says, hello, Sam. Thank you for contacting us. Please let us know if we can help with anything else in the future. Below is a reminder of what your ticket was about. There's literally no answer answer. Uh, wh where's the answer? I'm so confused. These poor trunk keepers, like I can't imagine how frustrated they are. If I'm this frustrated because I can't find anything from Matilda Jane aside from that email and sale, they must be enraged. I would not, I, I would not handle this well at all. I was also able to find some posts from a lot of trunk keepers who have been with Matilda Jane for a very long time. I honestly didn't know they have been around since 2005 until I decided I was going to do this video. I thought they've just been around for a few years, but these people have been with Matilda Jane for 11 years, 14 years. I'll throw some screenshots up. These women have been with them for a long time. Needless to say, most of them are very frustrated and very angry so they are voicing that frustration in these posts and again they're asking for anybody who does like Matilda Jane to shop through the trunk keeper and not the main Matilda Jane clothing website. Somebody posted a timeline of when everything happened. So like when the launches happened and then when they decided to close. So on the 29th of November trunk keepers were presented the spring line. So they saw sneak peeks and they were given the pricing on the trunks for the spring line. On the 1st of December, the trunk keepers were given contracts to sign on for spring season. So a lot of them signed their contracts. They were excited for the new spring collection. And then on the 3rd through the 6th, trunk keepers started preview days. So this is where they hosted shows, they did online events, and started collecting pre-orders for the December releases that I mentioned earlier in the video. On the 7th, at 8 a.m. in the morning, Central Standard Time, 
is when the email went out. There is definitely some way that somebody knew this was coming on November 29th and on December 1st, when these trunk keepers were getting ready for the spring season, they knew this was coming, but they kept just pretending like everything was okay and not realizing or not caring that they're going to affect over 1,000 trunk keepers' lives with setting this all into motion. Not only that, from what I read, they are not getting refunded from the things that they have purchased from the new launches that they were planning on launching. Or were they? Were they even planning on launching it? We don't know. So they're not getting refunded and they're not getting paid for the last day. So they're not getting any kind of commissions from December 7th, even if they worked. I see a lawsuit in their future. Now we've got the other MLM Huns rolling in to recruit more people. It was made public that Cabby was the other MLM company that was in talks about buying Matilda Jane clothing, but that fell through like we mentioned earlier. But many trunk keepers that are obviously no longer with Matilda Jane have already gone over to Cabby. So I wonder if they were offered something by Cabby when this all took place or what went down. There was one post about Savvy. They're trying to get the word out and recruit people who are no longer with Matilda Jane to Savvy. Something else that I found that made me a little angry for these trunk keepers, especially any new ones, was that they were still having these recruiting calls up until two weeks before they were closing. So like right around the time they were doing these launches and all of this other stuff. And I wanted to show a couple of snippets. We're not gonna watch the whole thing because it's pretty boring. I sat through the whole thing. We have trunk keepers who have entrepreneurial spirits who are out there wearing and sharing these gorgeous, gorgeous, unique, one-of-a-kind clothesline, um, women's and children with people all around them. Whether they are doing it online or in person, they are sharing these beautiful clothes. And I have to tell you, we've had two brand new launches, a Matilda Jane launch and a Good Heart launch, all within the past two weeks. I am blown away by our new launches. This Good Heart launch that we just did a few days ago. This so they just did the brand new launches. They just had consultants sign on and order. So she's talking about this. Makes me wonder if she knows about this and how it makes her feel that she's selling this to people right now. Or if maybe she didn't know about this the whole time and she was also bamboozled with everybody else. You can make... A lot of extra money if that's what you choose to do. The beauty of this business is that it is yours. The flexibility of it is up to you. You can do as little or as much as you want with this business. You're going to get out of it what you put into it. Are you? Are you? Because the women that put everything into it have nothing now. Nothing. I really, really hope she didn't see that she didn't know this was coming because, oh man, I just really hope she didn't know. I'm not going to play any more of that um, because it was boring, uh, but I did want to show you what they were advertising during this call, which was the exclusive holiday welcome kit and double rewards for your first month. So if you order your welcome kit in November for a December 1st start, you get all of this stuff but you only have six days in the business. And then what? You spent all this money. You spent at least $100 because that's what it costs to join. You spend at least $100 to join. You have to buy some type of sample. So is this a whole nother LuLaRoe where they're just out? Because that can be problematic. If that's the case, I'm no psychic, but I'm predicting those lawsuits are coming. That's all I have for you in today's video. If you missed my last video reacting to Octavia leaders on the interwebs, go check it out here and I will see you over there.